Hey boys and girls, I hope you've had an awesome week. Can you tell where I'm at? Can anybody guess what kind of field I'm in? Did you guess peanuts? That's right, I'm in a peanut field. This is what it looks like before uh, they're ready and the peanuts are under the ground, they're still growing and then about September or October, we'll turn them over and flip them up and then the farmers can gather the peanuts. So I was thinking about all the wonderful things that go into growing a crop. So I have been very blessed because I grew up on a farm. My granddaddy can grow some of the best cantaloupes in the whole wide world. They're so sweet. My grandma can grow some of the biggest, prettiest tomatoes you'll ever see. My Uncle Chris, everything he touches, anything he grows is green. The man even could grow a pineapple. He had a pine has a pineapple tree in his yard, a little plant in his yard. He grew it out of a pineapple stem. My daddy can grow some of the most beautiful peanuts. You see this right here? So I've just been very blessed growing up in a family that can grow such beautiful things. However, Miss Carrie can barely keep anything green alive. So I'm just thankful that I have some knockout roses in my yard that I haven't killed. <laughs> Maybe you guys know somebody like Miss Carrie. But I am so thankful for farmers. We don't think about when we're eating those yummy things like the peanut butter or like right now, I bet a bunch of you may eat boiled peanuts. We don't think about what goes in to grow in the things that we enjoy. Farming is such an incredible and uh, you have to have so much faith to be a farmer. So think about it. What do you do to, bury, to begin a crop? You have to plant a seed, right? And you have to have faith that that seed's going to grow. Well, do you just plant the seed and walk away? No, you plant the seed and the farmers, if you know any farmers, there's so much that goes into it. So many things can go on. You, if it's not raining, you have to irrigate it. That means put more water on it. Um, you'll see those metal things out in the fields. Those are irrigation. They put, they put water, they suck water out of ponds and put it on the crops. Um, sometimes you have to spray for bugs on it. Mr. Will one time when he was growing watermelons, there was these white flies on his watermelons and he had to go out and I kid you not, craziest thing ever but he went and got Dawn dish detergent and put it in the sprayer and sprayed it all over the the watermelon plants to protect from white flies so there's just so much that goes into it they got to be watered they, they've got to be the weeds have to be pulled out of them there's just so much that goes into farming and a farmers have more faith than anybody because a farmer has to rely a lot on God you know they have to pray that God will send rain when it's needed I mean they can always irrigate it but it's very expensive to irrigate so they just have to have a lot of faith in God to that the the plants can be watered with rain and not having to do it on their own and also that you know when this plants turned up that there's actually seed on it you know sometimes you can plant a beautiful beautiful crop of peanuts and then when they're turned over they don't have that many nuts on the vine um, same thing with the cotton like things can look like they're gonna turn out really good and then they don't necessarily do that. So there's just a lot of faith that goes into being a farmer and I'm so thankful for the farmers in my life. You know, one of the verses in the Bible, and God's talking about his kingdom, but one of the verses in the Bible that I, I thought went along with this really good, it talks about um, the parable of the mustard seed and Jesus says in it, it's, it's, it's like a mustard seed planted in the ground. Have you ever seen a mustard seed? Well, it is like teeny, like one of the smallest seeds there is. And it says, it, it's the smallest of all seeds, but it becomes the largest of all garden plants. It grows long branches and birds can make nests in its shade. So even a teeny tiny mustard seed, that you wouldn't even be able to see if I was holding it up right now. A teeny tiny mustard seed can grow a big, beautiful plant. But we've got to have faith and trust that God's going to help it grow. Have you ever planted anything? Like maybe you've planted some flowers. I know I've planted flowers recently and none really came up. But maybe you've gotten to plant something and you've watched it grow. Isn't it amazing how God does that? Do you think that the farmer sits around all the time and worry, thinks, well, gosh, it, it, could it really grow? No, because they know they've seen it. That God does amazing things by growing a plant. So much goes into it. So there's so much that goes into growing the food that we eat. So we need to be thankful for our farmers. 
and thankful for God who gives the rain and the sunshine and everything it needs, everything the crops need for plants to grow. So God is so amazing. And so maybe there's things in your life that you've been, you know, needing a little help with. Maybe we can be like the farmers and we can pray and give it to God and trust that God is going to have a beautiful crop with our lives, that he'll produce something really great in us and that we can go out and tell others about him because of what was started in us. You know, a lot of us get to go to church and we learn those Bible stories and we learn so many great things, just like that farmer planting that seed. The seeds have been planted in us so that we can grow as followers of God and one day accept him as our savior and then go out and tell the whole world what he's done in our lives. So we're just like these plants, even though we don't think about that a lot. God's planted us here on this earth, and he's watering us daily, and he has he places people in our life that help us grow to be closer to him and to be more like him. And, and so I am so thankful that God has blessed us so much with these, these wonderful food that we eat, the wonderful farmers that grow the food that we eat. We're all just so blessed. So make sure you thank a farmer if you see one, and think about the things that are going, they're going in your mouth. That, that God put them there with the help of a farmer. I want to close this in a word of prayer. Let's pray. God, you are so amazing. We are so thankful for you. We're so thankful for these beautiful crops that you've placed uh, in, in this very field that I'm sitting in. There's so many crops around that are growing, Lord, and people are harvesting their watermelons. You just so many blessings all around, Lord. We ask even in this very field and the things that we're looking at, Lord, that you bless them, that they grow a beautiful fruit, beautiful plants, beautiful harvest uh, that can be used for your glory, Lord, and to feed the mouths of, of everyone, Lord. We're just so blessed by the farmer and, and the people that grow things for us. Thank you so much for that, Lord. We ask that you seen, send more rain where it's fit. Thank you so much for the rain you've sent this week. You're just so, so good to us, Lord. Thank you for today and, and what you're doing in our lives, Lord. Help us to use this lesson and, and have the faith of a farmer and, and grow things in our lives so that we can show people how you work through us. Thank you for being so awesome. Jesus, I pray. Amen. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. Make sure you thank a farmer this week when you're eating that peanut butter and jelly sandwich or even eating those boiled peanuts because Annabelle and Molly are eating some right now. Everything you eat comes from a farmer somewhere, and I'm so thankful for that food. So make sure you thank some, and thank God for giving us the food that we eat and for, for sending us farmers to grow the food that we eat. Even the chicken that we eat, a farmer grows it. So we're just so blessed. I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye!